Alright, today we're gonna make a new video. What if civilization started of it? Oh my fuck. Baldicus Maximus. Baldicus Maximus. Oh my fuck. I can't even zoom in because this map is so fat. Damn, this map moved with your piece. That is fuck map. Na, 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 na. Okay, basically, we're gonna start with the Tittle in Mesopotamia. Yeah, the Tittalonians. Oh my f Oh my god. Why won't it call it this in? What the fuck? Wait a minute. This this tweak it. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, as you can see, the Tittalonians start in the city of Tittalon. Okay, yeah, I don't even know. What happened to the layers? I'm pretty sure you could, like, make a different layer. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's up here. Basically, I'm gonna add the Tittalonians. What the f- Ah, uh, basically, you know, let's set up some major cities here. Oh, I know how. Hold up, wait a minute. Yep. Yeah. Oh my f what the god! Okay, basically, there's gonna be a big city. Uh, over here, which is the capital, and, uh, well, I guess one of the cities, the major city, they don't have a capital yet, they're not at that level. But eventually, they just make it official that the capital is in, um, here. Oh my fuck, this is so stupid. I'm just gonna go to Pain 3D. Because this map is freaking tweaking. Uh, what's annoying is you can't make layers in this, which I found really stupid. Like, seriously, dude? Can't make layers. Either way, the Tittalonians basically, you know, rise up around here. Um, they do take a lot of land at the, uh, over here. Um, the capital is over here. And they have a, um, basically a, a few cities, uh, well, towns, uh, on the coast here. And then basically some on the rivers and stuff like that. And there's one they found into the south. And uh, yeah, but basically, you know, this green team start the. I'll just call it the red team. Okay, the red team. Oh my fuck! Do this because it. it okay. Oh my, you're so fucking annoying. Okay. Sorry for guessing, but the red team basically has you know some pretty good cities and stuff. And yeah, they're basically just you know the hegemons this area. Eventually, a new city is built. Uh, in this, ow, uh, in LA here, which becomes the new capital. The red team further expands and even sends out an expedition into the Arabian Desert. And one follows the coast while one moves up through Iraq into Jordan and then pushes south. Um, the first expedition, uh, let me just get it. Uh, eventually, you know, scouts out, uh, yeah, pretty much just scouts out, like, 
um, this area here. Uh, some more. Uh, so he sends out troops so to occupy this area here. And yeah, so this is like, yeah, this is basically um, huh? When it's explored for now, I'll just call it like this, and when it's occupied, like this. Basically, this other expedition, uh, a lot of them die out, but they eventually make their way home. Uh, they didn't really scout that much, but they did kind of scout out, you know, this area at least. Um, not very well though, they're trying not to die in the desert. They were, they did get some supplies, but not enough to survive in the desert as well. Uh, oh well, that's the deep desert. And yeah, um, this expedition is successful, this one not really. And basically along the journey, the expedition gets split into two different teams. One wants to abandon the kingdom and found their own village, which is like 15% of the people. And the other percent uh basically just decides uh, the, yeah the 85 of their percent go home and tell the king about some of them left he declare he doesn't really do anything about this he doesn't declare treason unless they try to make their own nation but he says that it will be if they try to um but yeah at least his expedition scouted out this area yeah, so basically, now that this is scouted, they have a general idea of this region here. Uh, they don't want to, uh, they don't really want to set up anything, uh, down south, so they decide to go north. Um, it's pretty easy, however, they find a civilization, uh, well, there's a clan, uh, a few tribes in this region. And they have about the same weapons as them. These tribes pretty much ambush these guys and nail a mountain pass. And then using cavalry basically charge into here, you know, they have spears, uh, they're on horses, and these tribes laid on horseback and sack um, a few cities. Uh, the emperor of the red team, the king, of the red team sends troops in to deal with them and it does work a little um they did seize though their hq the red team um but yeah basically they just end up getting pushed back um but they do uh get plunder and gold and the part that was ambushed in the mountain pass a lot of them die uh some of them actually reached the hq but then got pushed back Pretty much, um, yeah, the red team has to, uh, you know, recover from this, uh, but yeah, basically, you know, um, this new village is kind of set up, um, they still claim to be part of the red team, they basically ended up just pushing to the sea, uh, a lot of them died on the voyage there, so by then there was only like, maybe 10 or so people, uh, left, well, not nah, like more than 25 people uh, left. There was uh, 50 before. Um, these ones ended up dying though. Uh, I mean, the, these weren't the ones that like. I mean, some of them. Uh, I mean, the the those other 25 ended up dying. But these 25 only built a small settlement on the coast. Um, but eventually, it grows bigger and absorbs other tribes. And eventually they clown a war, and the, that war is someone who tamed a large tribe to the north that was a lost expeditionary. Um, and they basically sort of make a new team. They are descended from them, so I'm gonna make the color like similar to red. Maybe like this, yeah, this is good. Oh wait, no, we're already using that. Uh, basically, you know, they make a new civilization let's just do this uh and basically the civilization and you know is actually pretty large by now um and they do end up building a city over here uh the original settlement grows bigger and the tribe settlement along the coast also grows bigger and yeah 
Eventually, one of the expeditionaries leaves and uh, to have second thoughts and tells the king of Mesopotamia about this. He's mad and declares them all in treason, and he sends out a division of his troops through the scouted territory south to make it there. Um, his troops are kind of tired and weak from the journey, and they have a big battle out here. Um, these guys still outnumber the tribals and are better skilled at better weaponry. But basically, they, they just kind of capture the cities here and occupy some of this, uh, some of this. But they're not able to capture anymore, and the tribes are kind of in small pockets. Uh, and it ends up becoming like a guerrilla warfare campaign for this guy. And they're still dealing with this team, so the king pretty much dies, and his son um, also dies uh, after leading a force to this lake and then getting killed. And yeah, basically now the uh, throne has no real like successes to it. So what of course happens is there's a civil war between two generals. Um, one of them was actually appointed by the Emperor if his son died in campaign. Um, so I guess he's like the legitimate one. He's over there. And then there's this other general. And then there's basically the younger brother of that son that, you know, broke away here. Um, cause he thinks that he's legitimate, which I would say he kinda is. Um, well, they actually, well, he actually said whoever is the strongest will, um, in this. No, he wouldn't, he probably wouldn't even pick the general this time. He would probably pick him, but whatever. Um, basically, they all have, like, a big battle. Um, the older brother is actually over here, he claimed the throne, and now these are the other two generals. He pretty much blitzes into these guys' territory, because most of the troops side with him obviously um but a lot of them side with their general uh cause, but it's mostly the tribal conscripts because they don't think they're fighting for this team of the crown they're really just being like oh we're fighting for this general um their armies are pretty much this guy's army is pretty much defeated uh and yeah Basically, this team ends up getting steamrolled, though, by a red team army that doesn't care about ambushes and just getting the spams and just sends out so many troops. There's thousands of losses, but this area is claimed, and that team lies in ruin. Um, most tribes are horrified by this and submit. Uh, yeah. Basically, all these tribes kind of submit. Uh, to this king here, and they send um, oh, half of their adult males each to go on campaign mm -hmm. against these guys. And this does actually work mm -hmm. for this guy, because the tribals aren't that skilled, but he has this infinite manpower. And these guys pretty much just get steamrolled by the tribes. And this army here hearing of the news of the whole civil war, basically march home. And this brother yet, um, didn't really like the whole invading this thing. They thought it was real he thought it was really stupid that they did that. And it was just a friendly settlement that just decided to do their own thing. So he basically recalled the troops. Um, most of them left, but some of them stayed thinking they could still win the campaign. Those were the ones around the cities here. Um, also, the, the third major city, which is, isn't really that major, but it's just a settlement they built, becomes these guys New HQ. And they basically just starve out these two armies, and um, they try to do a breakout attempt. Um, one of them succeeds, the one over here and actually, they're actually able to retreat. But the other one ends up just getting them all killed, which is uh, messing them up a lot. Oh my, what the flip? 
Blow. Oh my! I don't want to quit paste. Oh my, that's so stupid. Okay. Look. It, I think it changed what I was using. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and this, you know, yeah, yeah. Basically, you know, these guys counter attack. And pretty much overrun this. This city is pretty much destroyed, though, in this fight. Um, because a lot of people already left, and now no one wants to go there. But this city is retaken, this settlement, and most of the people go back to it. Um, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, okay, this is their capital now. This, this king here, basically, you know, he dies, and his son, um, goes on conquest here. But, he ends up dying, and his obvious son finishes the job, and basically connects up to over here. Just barely, though, he doesn't really consolidate, uh, this. Um, basically, then this emperor kind of consolidates. Um, this stuff. He actually annexes, um, this as a new state, uh, a new province. Um, because, you know, it's just been occupied and explored, but nothing was done with the territory. So the tribes were forced to submit and become a state in this. Um, yeah, also this became a new state with them um, resettling a lot of the tribes and his, of the armies there. Well, they're descendants, of course, and basically made a new state. This state is very big, though, so it eventually got split into two. Uh, this kind of just became a tribal, like, occupation. Well, the tribes were under, like, they were uh, submitted. Like, they're subjugated, I mean. Uh, this ends up becoming a new state. Uh, this is actually abandoned. Uh, it's not worth that much. And, yeah, there's still some old maps of it, but yeah, let's just remove that. Uh, it actually becomes unexplored, like, they destroy the maps of it. But somebody, actually, no, they don't, that's not. You know what, whatever, let's just say they forgot about it, who knows. Anyways, uh, basically these new states are formed. Uh, yeah. Actually, this one later becomes a state after a year or so, being integrated. Um, this area, though, kind of stays as basically, like, you know, just submitted. And, yeah, eventually they abandon, um, you know, this land. Uh, they do keep some of this explored, like, but yeah, I won't mark it as explored, you know what I mean? Same with the labia there. Uh, yeah. Basically, yeah, this ends up getting actually occupied, and then the West just gets, like, unexplored and just forgot about it. So, yeah, now let's look at the map. Basically, this is family under control of, like, the white team, you know. Oh, uh, this is all in the sphere of influence of them. Like, they basically just consolidated this entire region. Um, this is basically the sphere of influence of these guys, you know. A new civilization, though, rises uh, over here. After some white team explorers went missing. And yeah, I know this is far away, but they actually managed to make a new civilization. Um, and yeah, basically, um, yeah, they kind of absorb uh, this entire area. Basically, what ends up happening is their leader absorbs one of the tribes. Oh, uh, well, actually, brutally conquers it. Uh, and then basically all the other tribes in the area kind of submit, you know. And yeah, then he like declares himself emperor of the legion. Uh, and pretty much starts ruling like he has his own kingdom. The red team then begins an entire invasion of this land, just claiming it as their own. Of course, um, they don't like how there's just this team that just appeared. You know what I mean? Why do you just stop them? 
And yeah, they eventually start fighting and having wood conflicts so long in. Well, there goes my David Buster's office fan. Well, that t that cost me 1,400 tickets. Not difficult for me to get, it's just annoying. Seriously, man. Only way to get fucking ventilation. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna turn this on. Ah, uh, yeah, I need some flesh or air. Yeah, okay, good, it still works. Not as well, but whatever. And this expedition even starts going down the Gulf of Persia, uh, Gulf of Arabia, whatever it is. I think, yeah, people even call it uh, the Gulf of Persia, uh, Gulf of Arabia. I don't know. Either way, the point is, is they go down here. And, yeah, this guy continues conquering tribes and even starts pushing into other nations. Uh, over here of the tribes he conquers. Um, he does, you know, conquer a large amount of territory. But really what he does is he just basically shows brute force against uh, a tribe or two in the region and they submit. So this isn't really fully integrated. Like, let's just show the submitted areas versus the conquered areas. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's show the let's show the uh, difference. Basically, um, yeah. Let's just set up this. Okay. A few tribes need to be conquered because they were not ready to submit. Ah, uh, yeah. Basically, all the tribes of this region just didn't submit. Uh, no, I mean all of these guys submitted. Uh. Some of them were both conquered and submitted, like in this region. Uh, you know, like they actually like submitted even if they like, like they actually assimilated into there even if they just submitted instead of being fully conquered. But yeah, pretty much this is what each empire looks like. Um, this Arabian team eventually evolves into the, the, a distinct culture. Uh, slowly more and more tribes pretty much join them. And yeah, the red team and the green team are kind of like ready to fight, you know what I mean? They're basically slowly expanding into each other's regions. Uh, like the green team is pushing south and this team is pushing like this. And yeah, the, the, the tribes of this region are conquered. These ones are submitted. And yeah, this ends up getting assimilated Finally, it takes a little bit. Uh, and yeah, this ends up being assimilated, and now only really the, uh, you know, areas outside, like, Iran are unassimilated. Only really this area, which isn't going to be fully assimilated that soon, you know. Uh, the green team and the red team basically have a big battle uh, over here um, because these guys don't know they're going into green team territory and just start scouting out super deep and they do have troops also but it's a lot of scouts too but basically a lot of these scouts are armed and there ends up being an incident here and this causes the green team to declare war uh, on the red team and they pretty much so just pushing and they had tribes behind the line secretly working for them and this kind of cooks them as they actually set up a lot of local governorships uh, in these areas and a lot of them flip sides you know what I mean especially this one you know what I mean and yeah this pretty much puts a red team into a land mode as green team's troops starts pushing towards their capital which is really when they realize shit hit the fan because this isn't just a war and over here anymore no no this is a war over here and conscripts just pretty much get conscripted immediately 
and they do a counter offensive. These conscripts aren't very well trained, and even the trained tribals could still push them. But the red team, uh, you know, starts training them a little more, and they pretty much push into here. And after the, you know, we it, what the king dies because of a green team poisoning, the the masses just completely can script and all the troops gain morale and just start literally just pushing through, just doing genocides and shit. And yeah, this actually wipes out um like a quarter of the population here of these tribals. Which pretty much impacts these guys because they will lie I'm kind of I'm kinda of having tribes. And yeah, there's a push eastward that can swim more, which pretty much kind of submits this area. And they're basically sent to the front lines, um, but none of them are actually able to consolidate this. So after only a few months, it's basically this entire region is just reconquered by tribes from, you know, over here. And yeah, this is pretty much it for them. They do have new tribes, but they're very inexperienced. Uh, they do do one big push over here. But yeah, this actually counterattacks them very well. Um, but yeah, both sides are almost, you know, at their breaking points. So they sign a peace deal. And this peace deal is just basically like this. They just set up a border. And yeah, basically they kind of split um, Asia, like, I guess, you know, like this. Well, not Asia, but they split, uh, you know, Turkey, like this. The purple team then does something kind of funny. They basically get their revenge by just going in here, sacking it, and then just slinking away. The red team tries to get a response, uh, you know what I mean? But they can't afford to send too many people there, and they basically sack their capital back, and then run back away. And yeah, that's probably for the ep that's why the episode is over by now. New tribals start just flooding into this area, though, as the green team is weakened. Uh, most of them do submit, though, but now this is, like, unsubmitted land, which kind of sucks. Holy shit. Well, when is Fallout 76 gonna be ready, damn? Taking millions of years to download shit.